FCC need to change the rules where, <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not, you know, now payola, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Is that if you want me to play your record, Jerry, pay me $5 or $50 for, you know, your spot. <laughs> well, they, they, they have basically already done that. <laughs> well, yeah, but Because now, now when you come with your album, right. They don't play, or the, in some instances, they don't even tell you who the album is by. Mm -hmm. They play the music, and then you figure out who it's by. Or you call up the station and That's say, true. where can I get that music? Exactly and they say, well, right. you, and, and they charge the record companies yeah. the same as they charge anybody else yeah. for advertising on their station. Yeah. You're right. Today is very little... Uh, this record is by Jerry Butler. You know, you, if you got the uh, data tracker, you can see it if it's on your radio or television or, or rec, uh, something, if you're driving in the car or something. You're absolutely right, you know. We uh, had a different day and time, you know, with entertainment. Yes. You know, well, what is your favorite form of entertainment that you prefer? Performing. Yeah. Oh, you like performing? <laughs> <laughs> you like performing, huh? I really do. I yeah. mean, it is, it is, and I have been greatly blessed to be able to, for the past 50 years, yeah, I was gonna ask you, I to walk on years. stage and sing a song and get applauded and go get paid. Yeah. That's, what a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah. This is. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what are your, one of your favorite cities to perform in? You know, <coughs> there is a club in Washington, D.C. that we have been playing now for about 35 years. Okay. It's over in Georgetown okay. called Blues Alley. Okay. Small room, only holds about 250 people. Okay. But uh, we've been doing it and we always have a great turnout. We usually play it for four or five days mm. and it's, it's just been wonderful. Yeah, you ever play Vegas? I have played in Vegas, but I've never played the clubs in Vegas. We've always played in Vegas in a concert hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Never, but never in, in a nightclub, one of the uh, clubs. I the only say. time I play, performed in a nightclub was Gladys called me up one day and she said her husband was having a birthday party and she wanted me to come out for a birthday party. And so she invited me up to sing mm -hmm. a couple of love songs with her dedicated to her husband. I yeah. told her, uh, you know, I'll sing with you, but I can't dedicate this to your husband. Right? <laughs> you supposed to be doing this, you know. <laughs> right. Speaking of ladies, I know you used to sing with this lady, Brenda, uh, Brenda Egger, I think it was. Brenda Lee Egger, yeah. yeah. Well, ain't understanding uh, Mellow. Mellow. That yes, was a uh, very, very, very good song. Still Thank is you. A, still is a good, still sound good. You know? Thank you. Is she still alive? Uh, As a matter of fact, she is. Uh, I saw her just a couple of weeks ago on Bobby Jones Gospel. Oh, because she's doing gospel now? Yeah, well, that's where she came from. Oh, she okay. came out of the Operation Push Choir. Okay. She, Pat Henley, and Sue Conway. Okay, yeah. They were called the Piperettes of Freedom. Oh, and okay. all three of them would sing you under the table. They're yeah. just absolutely wonderful singers. And hey, do you play an instrument at all? No, I don't. No, just I've never had enough patience to really do that. Plus, I always had Curtis and Billy around, so I didn't have to. Yeah, Curtis took. I was reading somewhere. Curtis, I think. I, I think I was reading. I don't think he said it. I think he, he may have said it too. He said when he first started playing p uh, guitar, he said he came out. He said the thing was all out of tune and everything. He said, but he was <laughs> he was playing the devil out of you know because he was learning at that time. You as know? a matter of fact, <laughs> one of the first engagements that we played as a group called The Impressions. Before we ever recorded For Your Precious Love, Curtis borrowed my father-in-law's guitar mm -hmm. to uh, do the gig. Yeah. And he had to tune it. Matter of fact, he told me that he tuned it to an F sharp chord, <laughs> which was all the black keys. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I said, there's some symbolism in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he, he, he was just an extraordinary talent. Yeah, he definitely was. I. I still look at it, I, I said, you know, it's one thing about putting on these uh, concerts in the park. Uh, I, and every time I, th I think about it, you know, because that's what they say happened to him. He was out in New York when the beam fell on him or yes. something, you know, and I, I, I always think about that, boy. I said, you know, because, yeah, that was a 
very solid, you know. I like I like Curtis, uh, Fred is dead and all that stuff. It's still good, you know. Yes. Superfly track is uh, still a very powerful uh, piece of uh, music today. You know, speaking of your brother, uh, he just strictly playing with you. I know that's another thing too. You know, we came through during those periods. You know, you had like LC play with Sam. You know, your brother played with you, and you know, just you guys just all kind of got together there, you know, and kind of played together. How is Billy doing? He's doing pretty well. Yeah, do you ever hear from a guy like L.C. Cook and some of those guys? Every now and again, but usually when we have the Rhythm and Blues Foundation conventions, it's a wonderful place for us all to get together That's and good. laugh about old times and what have you. That's good. And you mentioned uh, Gladys Knight. What is she doing these days? Anything she wants to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying, enjoying the good life. Yeah, huh? yeah. They tell me she's got a couple of restaurants someplace. I think one in Vegas and one in Atlanta. Uh, I have not had the occasion to go to either one of them yet, but I'm uh, sure it's good. Yeah. yeah. But I guess, you know, she likes cooking, I guess, you know. So. No, I'm not if she does the cooking. She likes eating. Yeah, well, that's what it means, <laughs> you know. What about Aretha? Now, that's, uh, you, I know you perform with her somewhere across the road, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of time. And how you uh, enjoy working with Aretha. How is she doing these ways, by the way, too, speaking of her? Well, you know, her uh, agent and manager, a lady by the name of Ruth Bowen, okay, yeah, passed away. Right, yeah. And I don't think uh, Aretha has been in as steady mm -hmm. since that happened. Mm -hmm. But Aretha is Aretha. I mean, yeah. uh, as Ray Charles used to say, he said, there's a whole bunch of singers and yeah. then there's Aretha. That's true. You know? <laughs> that was, that, that, you're absolutely right when you think about that. Yeah, I, when you mention these guys, it kind of flashbacks, you know. Uh, you think about Atlantic Record, and like you say, you were with VJ. I, was with the, I did a, a recording of a guy a few years ago name was Johnny Moore. He said he did uh, mm -hmm. Turn Back the Hands of Time with Tyrone Davis. Yes. And I think, I got it on my YouTube anyway that way, that he was the last guy to record down on Record Road, down on 18th uh, in Michigan there. It was he and, I uh, can't think of the engineer's name now, but it was in a studio. <laughs> and that was, you know, the, the, uh, it was in the winter time, and it was uh, definitely you could see it was all of the you know they still had some of the mics and all that Probably stuff. Malcolm that they used. Chisholm. Which one? Malcolm Chisholm. It wasn't Malcolm. Yeah. Malcolm Chisholm was a engineer. Yeah, and they had the big you know two inch tapes, you know twenty four oh, tracks yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. You know what they were doing. I said, I just the way music was made. A lot of these young cats don't even know nothing about that today. You know, they come <laughs> in today, Jack. They, 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 they put that stuff all together on the computer. You know, and it's there. You know. You know, there was a young man who was in my songwriter's workshop back in the day, as the kids say, uh, by the name of Linron Hanks. Okay. He and Zane Gray wrote a song called Right Back in Love Again, okay. which was recorded by LTD okay, before yeah. Jeffrey Osborne left. Yeah. And he said, you know, I'd love to do some music with you, Jerry. We can do it all on my computer. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I said, man, that's that's a little bit beyond my ability. He said, no, I'm telling you, I, I got it all here. If you hit a bad note, I can fix it. I yeah. can do whatever. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> Technology is wonderful stuff. It is, but it I, will, you know. It will yeah. make you lazy. Yeah, it does. Well, now, you're speaking of writing, how many uh, songs uh, you have written? Well, I really don't know because I've never sat down and counted them all up. But you quite uh, got it. Catalog pretty good. For your precious love, he will break your heart. Find yourself another girl, I'm telling you. Uh, come back, my love. So a you song that's a just, been, just, just, just been recorded by an artist named Seal. Okay, I know Seal. I've been loving you too long, which yeah. was originally Otis Redding and I. Yeah, okay, y'all did that. Okay, yeah. A Western Union man with Gamble and Huff. That's a, Never you know, a lot of people may not know. Western Union man was a good song, you know. Well, thank <laughs> you, you. I mean, you, you, you can't put a lot of, you put a lot of song in there. <laughs> Western Union man, I, yeah, I remember that song, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I tell the story on, on stage sometimes that when we did it, we thought we were going to get a big contract from Western Union <laughs> as a commercial. Uh -huh. And then <laughs> a couple of years ago, they quit sending telegrams. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> so I sent an email and everything else, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you